Uh, so over the over the past two weeks, though, with an, that expanded role for Greg Ward, the target shares are 26% for Ertz, 20%. Uh, for Ward, 14% uh, for Boston Scott, 13 for Dallas Goddard, 12 for Miles Sanders. Ertz, though, has double-digit targets in four of his past five games. He's an elite tight end. And uh, let me just ask you, what's your read on the Eagles the rest of the way? Because they are a team that does have uh, playoff aspirations, and that matters in Week 16 and 17. Very much so, because it's more predictable volume. We can kind of assume that they'll keep doing the same thing. And I think that seeing Miles Sanders do what he did on Sunday was really reassuring. And I kind of had an error in my process on Miles Sanders because I assumed that given how good Boston Scott looked, I thought they were going to continue to involve him. But, I mean, like, Miles Sanders is a high-end pick. He is crazy athletic. He is a very good football player. I should have realized the odds of him moving back into his regular role were higher than I thought they were. So I think that for next week, if we assume he plays 75% of the snaps, gets – some rushing work, some target work. With his talents, I would assume Lane Johnson is still out, which is definitely a negative for the the Eagles. But I would still say he is a low $7,000 type running back. What do you think? Yeah, so he was 6800 for this week. Uh, I don't want his price to go up too much. So my kind of threshold with the concerns uh, was about 7000 but he's 7400 It's not It's not a terrible price. No. Uh, but it is creeping up a uh, kind of toward the my my high end limit and yeah i'm with you i i i had a lineup where uh i, I could have played miles sanders but i played philip Lindsay instead and yeah <laughs> I, I i like i still liked miles sanders but i just yeah you know, I, I was worried and he, i mean he put some of those concerns to, to rest this week yeah i would say that i my level of confidence in miles sanders is increasing exponentially and seeing him come through in that volume just makes that role, in my eyes at least, even more firm than it would have been had he played 75% of the snaps and not done a whole lot. So Miles Sanders, arrow very much up on him going forward.